President Obama uh, has put something in the budget negotiations that has Howard Dean upset, and justifiably so. In fact, he's thinking about leaving the Democratic Party, according to one of his tweets. And I don't blame him. I'm right there with him. So what is it? Now look, you already heard about the chain CPI, right? If you're following politics closely, uh, President Obama, in an offer to the Republicans, said that he would cut Social Security. They would change the way they calculate inflation, so you would get less money. Now, when you're older, when you get to the age of 85 or so, it takes away over $1,000 a year from you, and these people are only getting 14, 15,000 a year to begin with, right? So you're taking a giant amount of money, and by the way, money they've already paid into the system. So it's unbelievably unjust, right? Now, but we already knew that. That's not what Howard Dean's reacting to. Turns out Joshua Green at Bloomberg Business Week did some reporting on, hey, wait a minute, how about the other spending cuts and the taxes, and where does it all play out? Now, how many times did I tell you guys, they don't want to do the sequester. We're in the middle of it, to be fair, right? But ultimately, they don't want to do the sequester, not because they don't want more spending cuts out of discretionary spending, or they don't want to do Social Security and Medicare, the sequester doesn't have any cuts to Social Security and Medicare. They're willing to do cuts, extra cuts to Social Security and Medicare to get rid of the sequester. Why? Because the sequester cuts from the defense program, and what I've been telling you all along is they don't want to cut defense in any meaningful way. And we find out through Green's reporting, quote, although the White House doesn't advertise this fact in the six-page budget overview it put out this morning, the new budget eliminates nearly all of the cuts that sequestration imposes on the Pentagon. There you go. Why is President Obama willing to cut Social Security and Medicare? Because he's got to protect the defense contractors. To give you specifics here, Joshua Green also says, instead of $500 billion in cuts, Obama proposes only $100 billion. And you have to look at it closely to spot it. A couple of cosmetic changes, hey, there we go again. Obama as usual, pocket change. With tiny little cuts to defense, relatively speaking, over a 10-year period, he's going to take billions from Social Security. Does that sound fair to you? Forget fair. Does that sound progressive to you? It's not remotely progressive. So then what's the point of staying in a party led by this so-called Democratic president? So Howard Dean says, I'm out of here, if that's the case. He says, quote, if it is true, I may have to become an independent. To which I say, hear, hear. Look, I don't know why Howard Dean didn't get more involved in politics since 2004. He made a real run because he actually tapped into something significant in Democratic voters. They understood that real progressivism was dying within the Democratic Party. They panicked at the, and helped greatly by the mainstream media saying, Howard Dean's crazy, Howard Dean's crazy, don't you dare elect Howard Dean. And they went with safe John Kerry. And what happened? They lost, right? That was not the right way to go anyway. Now, I know Howard Dean's been involved all throughout in different campaigns, etc., right? But I, I wish that he'd been more actively involved. I wish he'd primaried people, including, by the way, President Obama, because if you don't primary Democrats, they just go further and further right. Well, now he's gotten to the point of frustration that I'm at, which is, what's the point of the Democratic Party anyway? If all they do is corporatist legislation, you can, on Universal background checks, 91% of the country agrees they can't even get that passed. How pathetic are they? And then you turn to real issues in terms of Social Security. They're willing to do the cuts that Republicans couldn't get passed. They need Obama to, to cut Social Security because Republicans can't do it on their own. They tried. Bush tried. That's the one thing Democrats defeated him on. So you bring in Obama and he does it for him. Why? To protect defense contractors? Then what's the point of the Democratic Party? Howard Dean is right, except he should take the if out. We should all have left a long time ago. And by the way, just to be clear, I am an independent. If you watch this show and you think I don't sufficiently criticize the Democratic Party, you've got to clean out your ears, man. I got no interest in supporting what I view to be a largely pathetic party. If they were actually progressives, it would be a totally different situation. But they got no interest in being a progressive. They got an interest in this shell game that Democrats and Republicans are playing to actually give all the advantages to the people they're actually serving, their corporate donors. That's the reality, and that's what Howard Dean is catching on to.